Why is it so cold? Oh, hello everyone. This is Tiger and I'm Tim. And can you guess from our outfits where we're going today? Can you? Well, we'll find out in a second because first it's Roll Titles Tiger! <laughs> Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to Tiger and Tim. Rawr! And click the notification bell, please. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Tiger Cubs. The first job of the day for you all is this. Mm. Ding, 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 ding. It's a very special riddle that you must get right to come on our adventure, isn't it, Tiger? Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, here goes. At the bottom of the world lies the chilly South Pole in the middle of a land that penguins patrol. What continent is it? Aha! You see? At the bottom of the world lies the chilly South Pole in the middle of a land that the penguins patrol. What continent is it? Did you get it? Did you get it, Tiger? Yes! Well done, Tiger! The answer is Antarctica. And that's right, Tiger Cubs. We're going on an adventure south, south, south to Antarctica or the South Pole, as many people call it. But how are we going to get there? Hmm. Tiger's magic paw that opens the special secret tunnel door. Okay, Tiger, show us your power and take us to your special secret tunnel of terrific travels. I'm going to need my glasses for this. Let's go! Wow! Your special secret tunnel of terrific travels is amazing, Tiger! But I know you'll only let me and the kids at home leave the tunnel and go to Antarctica with you to meet the penguins, the seals and the whales if we get a 10 out of 10 score in your tongue twister. <laughs> it's time for Tiger's Tongue Twister. And here's what it is this time, kids. Ding, 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 ding. Penny the Pretty Penguin plays on the poles of the polar. <laughs> Penny the Pretty Penguin plays on the poles of the polar. Yay! Well done, Tiger Cubs! 10 out of 10 for all of us. Now, Tiger, the tunnel is closing in and there's a dead end. We've got to jump. Aha! Phew! We made it, Tiger. We're here. We're in Antarctica. Oh, fantastic. Antarctica is one of the coldest places on Earth, Tiger Cubs. It is called the Polar Desert. Mm. But most people think of a desert as being very hot, like the Sahara Desert in Egypt. But this is definitely not a hot place. <laughs> That's why penguins like me live here. But it is amazing. I've got to know more about this place in our adventure. You've got to know more too, don't you, Tiger? Exactly. Our adventure is called The Lost Polar Bears. Make sure you read along with us, Tiger Cubs, grown-ups, and any polar bears watching. <laughs> As Tiger and Tim wandered through the flurry of snowflakes in the South Pole, Tiger began to shiver. The wind was bitingly cold and even Tiger's fur could not keep him warm. The cold was not a problem for the waddle of penguins they soon met though, who live in Antarctica all year round. Just like me, Penguin Tim. 
I am so happy to meet you, dear penguins, but please can you point us in the direction of the polar bears? Asked a freezing tiger. Polly the penguin laughed <laughs> and said, Polar bears don't live in the South Pole, young cup. I'm afraid you've had a wasted journey. Tiger and Tim sighed and leapt back into their snowmobile. They were both very disappointed, but still eager to explore. Suddenly, they heard a mighty cry in the distance. Help! A baby polar bear had floated on a raft of ice for thousands of miles all the way from the North Pole, where he lived. The baby's mother, Paula the polar bear, loved her son so much that she had followed him all of the way. Tiger and Tim, please help my baby. The ice Peter is on is cracking and he can't swim yet. Tiger, being the magical tiger that he is, clicked his fingers, click, click, and a rubber ring appeared from nowhere. All aboard the Peter Polar Express. Tiger and Tim yelled together. Using his powerful paws, Tiger rode the ring whilst Tim began to sing. Row, row, row your ring gently in the sea of ice. As they reached the block, Peter was so eager to be saved that he immediately jumped into the ring to join his new friends. Splash! Tiger and Tim were now cold and soaking wet. Thanks, friends. I thought I'd never be rescued, said Peter happily. As they made their way back to the shore, Tiger and Tim didn't realize quite how heavy Peter the polar bear would be. And it was taking such a long time to row to safety. In fact, the trio were in danger of sinking until a chorus of barks surrounded them. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> it was a group of seals. <laughs> Would you like some help? Yelled Sophie the seal. Yes, please. Groaned a tired tiger, Tim and Peter. Sophie and her super seal friends joined in the mission to save the trio. The seals glided along the ocean top and dragged their new friends to the shore. Amazing kids! Safe and sound, Peter was reunited with his mum. Tiger and Tim had made some more amazing memories whilst the penguins and seals were already putting together a plan to get Peter and Paula back home to the North Pole where all the other polar bears live. The end. Fantastic! Wow, what an amazing adventure, Tiger Cubs. And I've learned so much, haven't you, Tiger? Yes, exactly. I had no idea polar bears only live in the North Pole and not the South Pole too. And I do love seals, penguins, obviously, and also whales. So I'm really happy to learn more about Antarctica. I hope you kids at home are, and I know you are, Tiger. Hold on, mm. I've just remembered. Zach the zookeeper's got a meeting with you, Tiger, at our house now. We need to go. I want you and Zach to show the Tiger Cubs some more amazing pets and animals in the Your Tiger section. What do you mean? Your magic paw will only work and take us back if we get a quiz question right. Oh, Tiger, you're so frustrating. I think we need some help here. No problem, kids. It's me, your quiz master, with my perfectly fitting hat. Thanks very much. <laughs> See, it fits perfectly. And I have a question to get you all safely home. And you, are you ready? Antarctica had the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth. True or false? Antarctica had the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth. True or false? What do you think, Tiger? Yes, you're right, it's true. The coldest temperature on Earth 
was measured at minus 89.2 degrees Celsius or minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And it was in Antarctica. That's so cold. Now, before we freeze here, please transport us home with your mysterious, marvelous, magical poor tiger. I've got to get my glasses for this. Yahoo! Woohoo! Hello, Tiger Cubs! And hello, Tiger! It's me, Zach the Zookeeper here. But why wasn't I invited to old Antarctica with you and you? I could have worn my shorts and zookeeper outfit there. No problem! I'm strong and I'm not scared of the cold either. I'd also love to go swimming with the whales. Yee-hoo! Now, have any of you tiger cubs out there sent me a picture of you with your pet whale? Let's go and see some of your tigers right now to check. There better be a whale there, tiger. I'm waiting. <laughs> Well, no whale here, but a beautiful dog and its owner. Who have we got here? We've got Twinkle, who's age 10, with her dog, Pepper. And Twinkle is in the Philippines, just like our second cub. It's Alan Dua. He's age 11, and look who he's with, Tiny the dog. Ooh, Tiny, you're so cute. And also a cutie is this last one. It's Ray Fenea, age eight, with her dog, Storia. You three from the Philippines are amazing, and so are your dogs. Woo, I loved it, y'all. Your tigers are the best. But I didn't see no whales in there, tiger. Mm-hmm. Remember to send us in more pictures of you and your pets for your tigers, as I like to call them, on the tigerandtim.com website. There's the link below, tigerandtim.com forward slash upload. And that's the place to send in your cats, your dogs, or your pet whales. <laughs> But now, I'm going to go and get my happy feet on and watch that great movie about all of those penguins in Antarctica. But you have no time for a movie, Tiger, because it's the end of the show sing-along song, ain't it? Yeah! Enjoy, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Well, what an adventure it's been, Tiger, and all of you Tiger Cubs out there. I am exhausted, but excited to learn even more about Antarctica and all of the animals that live there, like penguins, but not mm. polar bears. They don't live there, do they? Because we know that. And also remember, Tiger Cubs, as members of the Tiger and Tim Fan Cub, we expect you to do certain things. Be kind to others, be well-mannered, to work hard in school, to respect your elders, and to try to read as often as you can. And if you promise to do that, we will now sing our end of the show sing-along song for you, but make sure you sing along with us too. Work hard at school, we'll think you're cool. Learning is rather fun. We both like heat, ah, veggies and treats, but books are our favorite things. Remember to draw, not with tiger's paw, and be kind to the people you meet. Oh, we go together like strawberries and cream. With Tiger and Tim, you'll dare to dream. Keep reading, kids, and look out for all of our other adventure episodes. They are going to be great. And for all the ones that have already been released, please watch them. 
Blow me a kiss, tiger. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you soon.